Hey, good morning, Cookie. Good morning. Let me put my shoes on. Hey, move. You always want to be the center of attention. Can you sit? Good girl. Good job. shoppers good morning so today is day two of taking every order I see on Instacart the goal right now is to get to gold cart status because right now I'm at a big fat zero status now in my last video which I will leave in the description down below I only got two orders in three hours. That sucks. I hope that will not happen today. Please, Instacart God, help me out because I need to get some sort of status or I'm just going to be lost on Instacart. I do have one rule though. I'm not going to take orders that are outside of my town because I might not even get to the store in time. So I'm only going to take orders that are at stores around my area. Okay, let's get driving. Okay, so I just got to the store and I immediately got a $10 order. It's only like four miles, which is not terrible. It's not great either, but that's my first order for today. Hopefully we just keep getting more and more and maybe we'll get an add-on. I hope so. So right now I am at 60 points. So I need 140 points to get to gold cart status, which means I need 14 more customers. Now I'm not planning on doing all 14 today, but I hope that we can at least get four or five. Okay, so I just made it back to the store and I still haven't gotten another order. My first order went super fast though. So we've been out for an hour now. That's the time when I left the house. So I always count that time because it's me starting my day, starting my work day. Still nothing, just scrolling. My husband and I were uh, talking the other day and I was like, you know, Instacart has really just become a platform for full timers. Me, who just does this part time as gig work, as a side hustle on my days off, this platform isn't for me anymore. I can't get anything. Like it's me wasting my whole day trying to get an order. I just feel like Instacart needs to rebrand itself because this isn't gig work anymore. Like they have employees basically. And y'all might not think this, but Diamond Cart 
Walmart shoppers get orders way faster than we do. Like, I don't see anything basically all day. So as soon as I said that, a $29 order popped up. It is 62 units, 44 items. Not bad for taking every order I see. And it's only four miles away, so pretty good. Now I'm second guessing everything I just said, so maybe just ignore that. We'll see, stay tuned. All right, so I got that shopping done in like 40 minutes, which I'm a little bit slower than other gig workers, but for me, that felt pretty fast. So they're only like four miles away from the store, so I'm gonna go ahead I always tie the sushi so it doesn't fall over and kind of tuck it in a safe space. One of these days, I'll actually remember my laundry basket. It was so cold and now that I'm moving around and running around, it's too hot. I had two coats on. Oh. Okay, I just had a tricky situation. Um, it was a meet the customer order, but she asked me to just leave them on the porch. And I messaged her and I was like, hey, like, are you home? Are you here to pick up the groceries? And she said, yeah, I'll be out there in just a second. Just leave them on the porch. So I don't know, I went ahead and left them, but I don't know, it's one of those tricky things where you're supposed to actually see them pick up the groceries. I don't know, she seemed really nice though, we'll see. But we'll see, hopefully they don't just mark everything as not delivered because that would suck because I did deliver them. But I do know that that's a scam that happens uh, where people say meet the customer and then have you leave them on the porch. And then they say everything was not delivered. So watch out for that. I trusted this customer though. They were communicating with me and they seemed honest. And you never know, I might just be a very bad judge of character, but hopefully that's not the case. It has now been two hours and 45 minutes since we started and I just got order number three. It's actually a pretty good one. It's $21, four miles, and it's only like 17 items. So we're gonna get this done really fast and hopefully get at least one more order. I was hoping for at least four orders today to try and get me to that gold cart status. I'll see you when we're all done.
We are running because this lady needs her delivery now because she has an appointment. So we're trying to get this done. Let's go. excited that I got an add-on I forgot to check for how much it was paying me uh, but I do know that it was only uh, 0.4 miles added on and it was only four items so I was like heck yeah I'll do that um, but I have no idea what this is paying me so it's a surprise we'll see but when I took that add-on it moved my first customer to B but they had an appointment that they told me they needed to get to so I went ahead and delivered those out of order so that she could make it to her appointment. And hopefully that means that I'll get a good tip, please. She kept saying thank you, so hopefully she'll say thank you in the dollar bill sign. But yeah, let's go drop this other order off. Also, since I did get that add-on, I might just stop after delivering this order. Depends. If I see another order immediately, then I might take it if it's easy and fast. Or I might just stop my day here. All right, so I had to go in the store because I had to pee so bad. And then while I was in there, a $22 order, 11 miles, popped up. And I had to take it because it was the first order I saw. So anyway, it wasn't that hard to shop. We got it done in like uh, 10 minutes. It's a 20 minute drive. And I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of on a roll today. So I might come back and do another one. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna go get this one done. So. Um, two things. My GoPro said the SD card was full, so now I'm recording on my phone. Now I get to see the difference between the qualities. And the second thing is, the customer that I just dropped off to was sick, so she wanted me to leave it at the door and then also text her. So anyway, so I sent her a picture and I said, delivered, and I was about to say, have a great day. And then she said, thank you. So in my mind, I was thinking, oh, she said, have a great day. So I said, you too, to her saying, thank you. One of those awkward moments. So I just played it off and I said, have a great day. And then I completed the order. So apparently I can't text as well as speak. It's so funny to me that you'll be in like the middle of a neighborhood and then there'll just be a cornfield. It's like suburbs and then country.
Alrighty, so we are home after a long day of Instacarting and trying to get to a gold cart status. We're not quite there yet, so stay tuned for part three. My last order, I did end up taking one more because one popped up right after my other order. It ended up being my husband's order for our groceries. Make sure you go to his channel, Aphid Cart, and check out that video. So we ended up doing five batches today, so we're just this much closer to getting a cold cart status. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.